Hey guys, so I just sat down to edit this video and realized that I kicked the camera as I was walking around to get started. So things are a little bit blurry and I was thinking, you know, maybe I won't show this video, but why not? So it's going to be a little bit blurry, but check it out. The camera's recording. And oops, crap. It's okay. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with my wife, Danielle. Hey. And we got a new toy. Uh, as you can see in front of you, this is the makings of a 1000 millimeter X car. And a CNC machine is something that we've really wanted in our shop for quite a while. And we finally were able to make it happen. Uh, the folks at Matter Hackers, I want to say thank you so much to them. Uh, they were able to support the channel by giving us a little discount on the machine. Uh, but I do want to encourage you, if you're looking for a CNC machine, check out Matter Hackers. They have a lot of the Inventables products, uh, but also some other things. They've got some bits on there. But essentially, this is the 1000 millimeter X-Carve kit that, again, was purchased with our own money from MatterHackers.com. But what Matter Hackers has done is they've gone through and they've curated the, I guess, the ideal setup or configuration for the machine. And this setup, if you order straight from them, comes with things like the Z-Probe and various upgrades that you would have to manually add on at Inventables. So they kind of take the fuss out. So if you are looking for a CNC, I would definitely check out Matter Hackers. But anyway, uh, I was laying this out earlier and I had no idea, because this has been sitting in a box for a little while in my garage. I had no idea how many parts were here. Um, I've never <laughs> assembled a 3D printer fully from a kit. I've worked on them, but uh, this seems a little overwhelming. So I'm sure you'll see a few videos of me just trying to put this thing together. But uh, I figured we'd maybe talk about what we plan to do with this machine, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. This will be a really informal video. Yeah, so um, I have a little shop with Anthony that we do um, some hand lettering designs some 3D printing and things like that. And we were thinking that it would be good to do some large batches of Christmas ornaments since the holidays are coming up. We have some little dog bones that we like to do or any kind of shape that we would want. This can do it in mass quantities, which last year we did a lot of individual cutouts, which was a little time consuming for him. I don't know how to use any power tools, so this would be faster that way. And then it could also be cool in doing some large scale lettering cutouts. So a lot of my work is primarily 2D. It is on paper or canvas. And this would allow us to cut out the lettering in a, a shape to where it would be the lettering and he could either go on something and have that shadow behind it or just be by itself on the wall and be very decorative and kind of more of a, a newer style for us. Yeah, and, and like she mentioned in the past, the little uh, dog bones we've created have been done on the bandsaw and it, she sold you know a handful of them mm -hmm. and it's just you know a lot more work than I want to put into it I've got a little template that I've made where I trace it out on wood and I cut it off on the bandsaw and clean it up but this type of machine will really afford us the ability to get it set up and tell it to cut out 50 dog bones and and walk away and come back and have them pretty much ready. You know, we'll have to cut the little tabs and stuff off and, and do some finishing work on them. And this is really gonna help speed up the production side of things for what she does and the way that I help support her. Now, on my side of things, I'd love to use this to cut out jigs and um, make other tools, but I think the, the first project I have lined up is to cut out some large um, icons or shapes for my church and uh, in the past they would have had to have those like laser cut out of acrylic or something like that and would have been very expensive but I'll be able to make logos, decals, signs, things like that on this. This particular setup, uh, again this is this is upgraded. I think stock they do come with this DeWalt palm router right now. They used to come with a smaller spindle which is the the cutting tool. Um, this will cut aluminum if you if you cut slowly it'll cut plastic and wood. Uh, I think there are just there's an assortment of things that'll cut, but I, it did come with a couple of bit sets, a um, just a carving bit set which would be great for uh, making signs and things, and then a set for wood and plastic. Uh, you'd have to buy bits separately for um, metal, but I think you know as long as you're conservative with your cutting speeds. Um, I've seen people even cut steel with these machines. 
I don't think they're built to, to do that, but if you go slow enough, I think you can cut, you know, pretty much anything within reason. I have a few things I need to do before I can get this set up. Uh, I'm hoping to build a table to put it on. It's, it's a lot larger. The footprint is a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. It, it completely covers my little work table here. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably build something. You can't see it's off camera, but over here on this side of the shop, a nice home for it. I'm going to have to have a way to store all these tools. It came with, you know, wonderful little hold down clamps and things. There are files so I can 3D print some more of those if I need them. Uh, I think just all in all, this is going to be an, an excellent addition to our shop. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to, to get into it. So look for some time-lapse videos or something of us mm -hmm. trying to cobble this thing together. But that's pretty much it. 1000 millimeter X-Carve from Matter Hackers. Check them out, matterhackers.com. If you are curious about the machine, I'll put a link straight to their page so you can find out more about the X-Car for yourself. Hey guys, so um, if you made it this far in the video, thanks so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below or uh, give it a thumbs up if you like videos like this. Uh, we'll also be updating you guys, like Anthony said, with any new content that we have regarding the X-Car, any projects we've done with it, kind of an update like two or three months on the road of like what we think of it. And so if you wanna get those updates, go ahead and click the subscribe button in the corner as well as clicking the notification bell. That way you get a message immediately when we post a video. Thanks so much. Yeah, take care, guys.